हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल माय एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर आई एम डॉक्टर शालिनी सिंह सालोम के योर कंसल्टेंट फिजिशियन थ्रू दिस चैनल वी इंटेंड टू प्रोवाइड यू हेल्थ रिलेटेड साइंस बेस्ड ऑथेंटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दैट यू कैन एंजॉय अ सेफ हेल्दी एंड हैप्पी फ्यूचर विद योर फैमिली सो फ्रेंड्स हैव यू एवर मिसप्लेसड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट समथिंग वेरी क्रूशल टू यू एंड यू हैव कम्प्लीटली फोगॉटन वेयर हैव यू कैप्ट इट और यू हैव गॉन टू द मार्केट फॉर द ग्रोसरी शॉपिंग एंड यू फोगॉट टू बाय द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स or you don't remember the anniversaries or birth dates of your friends or family members or is it you are finding it difficult to remember or learn new things which you could have done very easily in the past when you were kids if you are facing any of these difficulties it means that you are having problems of age related memory decline but why fear when i am here you don't have to worry a bit about declining memory because today i am going to give you the list of 10 superfoods which can improve your memory function which can make your brain stronger and the best part about these superfoods is they are easily available in your kitchen in your household or the nearby grocery shops or online you don't have to worry about procuring these items they are not going to cause bomb to your pockets also in the end of this video i am going to discuss a very important topic So you must have seen that movie Uri the Surgical Strike. In that movie, a uh, mother of the character Vihan is having some mental problem, some clinical condition you can say. Do you know the name of the clinical condition? If you remember, pause the video, go to the comment box, drop down your answer. Now, in the end of this video, I am going to tell you the name of that disease and how can you prevent yourself from that disease. So, let's start today's video. The first in the list is fatty fish. You must have heard that the pregnant females must consume fish so that the development of their child's brain will be better. So why is it so? Because fatty fish contains omega-3 fatty acids. Now your brain is 60% of your brain is basically made up of fat and the most important fat is omega-3 fatty acid. So what this what this particular fatty acid do? it sharpen your memory it improves your mood and also protect your brain from cognitive decline or age related neurodegeneration so these fatty fishes are rich source of omega 3 fatty acids so if you'll consume it you will provide nutrition to the brain and your brain will become stronger now if you are non if you're not a non vegetarian if you do not consume fish will that mean that you will never get omega 3 fatty acid no we have certain plant based source which are rich sources of omega 3 fatty acids and what are they number 1 is flax seed number 2 chia seeds number 3 walnuts in some amount soya bean also contain omega 3 fatty acids so all in all you have three four plant based foods which can provide you sufficient amount of omega 3 fatty acids for your better functioning of your brain now how much fatty fish you should consume around 2 to 3 times per week will be sufficient to provide the beneficial effect Now let's move on to the second superfood which is coffee. Coffee has caffeine and antioxidant. They combinedly increase the alertness, improve mood and sharpen your concentration. The optimum amount which you should take as per scientific research to provide the maximum benefit to your brain is 3 to 4 cups per day. But remember you must not consume sugar or milk in your coffee. It should be a black coffee. Now the third thing or third superfood is blueberries or simply berries which contain anthocyanin a chemical which is very helpful in preventing brain aging and thereby improving the memory now how much berries you should consume a handful sprinkled over your breakfast would be sufficient the fourth superfood is turmeric turmeric contains a chemical which is curcumin which has beneficial effect on brain by improving memory easing depression and increasing the formation of brain cells now how much uh, turmeric you must consume for all these beneficial effect around 4 to 5 tablespoons per day would be sufficient in our household basically we make uh, vegetables and dal curries with the help of turmeric only but usually we add uh, or we use around 1 to 2 tablespoon a day in all our courses now the extra 2 to 3 tablespoon you can add over a glass or add to a glass of milk and consume fifth in the list is broccoli broccoli basically prevent age related brain damage thereby keeping the memory intact and healthy how much broccoli you should consume around 1 cup boiled broccoli would be sufficient so sixth in the list is pumpkin seeds which are excellent sources of zinc magnesium iron and copper 
which are basically required for nerve signaling and increasing or enhancing your memory. Now, how much pumpkin seed you should consume? Around one tablespoon sprinkled over your salad or your breakfast would be sufficient. So seventh in the list is dark chocolate. No, I am not talking about all kinds of chocolate. I am specifically talking about dark chocolate. That is, it contains cocoa content more than 70%. This type of dark chocolate will help in enhancing memory. It will slow down age-related changes in your brain and also will boost your mood. So how much you, uh, dark chocolate you should, you should consume? Around 2 to 3 cubes per day will be okay. Eighth in the list is nuts. All kinds of nuts help in improving brain function or memory because they have omega-3 fatty acid. But the one which stands out is walnut and to some extent almond as well. So always remember nuts will have increased amount of vitamin E and omega-3 fatty acids which is very important for your crucial for your brain to function well. So a handful of nuts consumption per day is good. Ninth in the list is oranges. Oranges are rich source of vitamin C which helps in increasing focus, memory, attention and decision making speed. How much orange should be consumed? Around one medium size orange will do. Tenth in the list is eggs. Eggs are rich source of vitamin B6, vitamin B12, folate and choline. Choline is a chemical which is required for the formation of brain cells or neurons. Regulating mood, promoting brain function is, are the few important functions of egg. So how much egg should you consume? Around one to two eggs per day and one egg yolk will be sufficient. So remember I have told you in the beginning of the uh, video that I'll tell you about the condition? Yes, the condition is Alzheimer. So Alzheimer is a neurodegenerative condition where the damage happens to your brain because of which your memory starts declining to an extent that you tend to forget your family members, your close relatives, all the memories that you have made in the past. Now try to imagine that you have lived around 60, 40, 60 years. You have made memories, you have made relations and at the end when, when it's the time to enjoy all such things, you don't remember all those things. It's very heartbreaking. It shouldn't happen. And for that, you must do two things. Number one, start trying these 10 superfoods from today itself. And the second one is you must exercise your brain. That is, you must try to remember some or the other thing, try to learn some or the other skill or a different language, suppose playing guitar or something. Engage your brain in some action. This will help your brain to keep forming new neurons or new synapses, which will reduce the effect of aging on your brain so the neurodegenerative conditions can be prevented now how the simplest way of doing is stop saving the phone numbers or contact numbers of your friends and family members in your phone start remembering it engage your brain in some exercise and that will help you to prevent alzheimer and dementia so i hope you'd like today's video because it was full of information regarding your memory and your brain improvement if you also have certain topics which you want discussion on you can put that in the comment box also, you can send your queries on my WhatsApp number. It's with you. So that's all for today from my end. We'll again meet very soon with some other health-related interesting facts and videos. Till then, ciao.